Hi, I'm Sarah Snelson and my husband and I are the North Area Pastors. It's a privilege to be sharing a devotion with you all today. And um, we've obviously been looking at relationships and currently um, we've been having devotions about our relationships within our church family. Now, I love church. I love it that we're all one big family, we're imperfect, but we're full of uniqueness and um, and there's just the love, there's care and there's encouragement and support for one another. And I'm so thankful that I get to do life with you all and be a part of our amazing church and uh, most importantly, part of God's restoration plan. I've always had a lot of fun in church. Um, I've got good relationships with people there and I've developed some extremely deep friendships. Um, however, due to us being an imperfect bunch of humans, there have also been some challenging times. Now, Ephesians 4 it gives us all of uh, Paul's, um, as all of Paul's letters do, sorry, some great foundational advice in building church with others. And verses 2 to 3 says, Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. Make every effort to keep the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. Wow, isn't this what we want, church? A church where we're always humble, we're always patient, we're always um, kind and compassionate and loving. And the peace and the strength that that brings is just unimaginable. But as I've already said, we're all only human and it's impossible for us to be like this all of the time. It's only by the grace of God that I'm like that any amount of the time, really. And I've spent many years now in some form of church leadership, not just audacious. And this has meant that uh, some things that I've led have been criticised, Friends from church have left me out at times because the level of leadership I was functioning at. And when I've had to um, challenge people on perhaps their um, attitude or maybe a discipleship issue, um, they've sometimes fallen out with me and it's even led to them perhaps kind of spreading some untruths about the situation. Now, fortunately, this is just part of the price that we pay when we're building church and we're doing life with other people. And although I always ensure that I'm being led by the Holy Spirit and I know that God will defend me, it still hurts. And at times it's led me to think, what is the point of doing this if I'm just going to get um, going to be criticised um, for or rejected in friend in relationships? However. I know that we are all called to build church and I love it. So I need to lead in not taking offence in these situations. Proverbs 18, 19 says, A brother offended is more unyielding than a strong city and quarrelling is like the bars of a castle. I don't personally want to barricade myself in um, with a, a spirit of offence or contribute to someone else putting up barriers and not allowing anyone in to help heal their hurts. Ephesians 4, 3 says, make every effort. So I need to do my bit. I need to zip my mouth shut at times before I react. I need to take it all to God. I need to be humble in my interactions with everyone, not being a walkover but allowing myself to see things from the perspective of others and what might be going on in their worlds right now. And most importantly, forgive. Even when the other person doesn't think they've done anything wrong. Remember what Ephesians 4.32 says? Be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, as in God, Christ forgave you. We all make mistakes. We can all at times cause offence, even without meaning to, and we can all start to feel the spirit of offence come upon us. No family is perfect, but God has given us all we need to do life well and to enjoy the glorious, exciting and fun adventure of building church together and building lifelong friendships within it. 
Let's pray, church. God, we just thank you that um, that we can bring any hurts to you, Lord Jesus. We thank you that part of um, doing life with other people is at times about being challenged and, and challenging others, Lord. And that's what brings all the goodness and all the, um, the amazing stuff that you've put in our lives out to the surface. And we just pray, Lord Jesus, that um, during these times, you just help us to lay things at your feet that might hurt us, that you help us to process things Lord and um, and that we never ever carry a spirit of offense God may we always 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 just carry a heart of forgiveness God because you through Christ forgave all of us thank you Jesus for what you're doing in our lives thank you for what you continue to do thank you for what you're going to do in the future thank you for our amazing church and every single person that's a part of it in Jesus name amen well, church, I hope you have an amazing day and um, I'll see you soon. Bye bye.